Today is March 31st, which means it's the very last day of Women's History Month. So before we head into April showers and May flowers, we wanted to celebrate Women's History Month one more time and go out with a bang. I'm Scott T. Sterling, and this is the Rhino Report. With Record Store Day 2023 looming on April 22nd, we thought we'd bring it all together by checking in with a pioneering woman in music. Hey, I'm Judy Mills, and I'm the owner of Mills Record Company in Kansas City. Thank you so much for taking the time to talk to us today. Thanks for asking me to talk to you. Awesome. This is really cool. When did you open your store? Well, it'll be 10 years in May, May 3rd, 2013. Ah. Which artist inspired you to get into the music business? And how did that lead to your decision to open your own record store? I was excited <laughs> about Bon Iver's self-titled coming out. I went out to my local record store on release date, and I was sort of scoffed at in that, no, we don't get records on release date. And there were you know, lots of used record stores in town, but there were no record stores in town that were really focusing on new release day, which at that point was on Tuesday. Right. And the excitement around that of being able to go to the record store on release day and get the record you're wanting to. And that's what I wanted to bring back. We buy a lot of new vinyl and new releases and we go really hard. And um, so I I think that sets us apart. As digital music streaming continues to dominate the industry, what unique qualities do you believe vinyl records offer music listeners that digital formats cannot replicate? Well, I think that because digital and streaming, it became where you didn't own anything. So you were you were owning or renting air and it meant right. nothing. And so right. the fact that it became worth nothing made it kind of everybody swing to the other side of, I want to own my favorite thing. I had a friend who was, she was like, every Sunday was update her devices day. And, <laughs> and I'm like, I'm not doing that. So if I liked it, I wanted to own it. If I'm gonna own it, I want it to matter. And And if you want it to matter, it's going to be uh, a 12 by 12, you know, package that's delightful to hold. And that it's part, I'm part of the experience when I'm listening to it. And so that's how I think streaming brought back vinyl in a counter, again, counterintuitive sort of fashion. Do you have any advice for young women who aspire to be entrepreneurs in the music industry? You will definitely be judged more for being a woman in this industry than in other sort of retail environments. There will be a difference. You will feel it. You may not fit into that club and that's going to be okay. And you should lean into what you bring, not try to imitate what they bring and not even really try to be them. And so that would be my number one suggestion. And that's just, that's kind of woman to woman. I feel like I don't really fit in with the boys club that happens in the, you know, with the record store. So sometimes I, it can feel a little isolated, but I love the fact that we're very inclusive here and we're not gatekeeper-ish at all. And I'm not saying that others are, but that can be known for that. And we work to break that down all the time. Just trust that you're gonna make it. Like there are lots of things that I would have done better But I was running too scared that I didn't know if I was going to make it. But I would tell her, you're going to make it. So just plan on it and kind of keep your history as you go. What is your Desert Island album? That's a hard one, right? It would definitely be Talk Talk Spirit of Eden. It's just a gorgeous record. And I think that would be the one that would be my Desert Island record for sure. How do you stay up to date on the latest music trends and releases? Do you have any resources or methods you rely on? I follow a lot of the artists themselves so I can get the updates from them. But I think the best way that you can find out about trends is listen to your customer. People want to talk about who they love. And I'm not going to know everything. And if I'm going to pretend like I know everything, that's that's not who the that's not the store I want to be or the owner that I want to be. Describe Record Store Day at your store. There's going to be a line. It's usually a block or two down. But don't worry because we have a giant store. We get everybody in. We always do videos about where things are located. It's very well signed and organized. We have lots of people. So it's craziness in here, but it's a very organized chaos. We see a ton of friends and um, it's fun. Judy, thank you so much for your time. This was absolutely delightful. Thank you. Thank you very much. Thank you, Judy Mills, for everything you do. Let us know in the comments where you'll be lining up for your Record Store Day 2023. Be sure to like and subscribe. 
let's celebrate women and women in music all year long by supporting those out there making music happen for all of us on Record Store Day and every day. <laughs>